In this lesson, we are going to add and modify multi-line text. Before placing my text, I want to make sure I have an appropriate layer set, in this case, the text layer. Next, I will start the multi-line text tool. This is found here on the Home tab in the Annotation panel. You can also type T, then press Enter at your keyboard. After starting the text command, I can see a little preview of my text, and obviously it's a lot smaller than the other text here, so I'm going to have to adjust it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and click two points to place a text box. So just like I'm drawing a rectangle, I'm going to pick two diagonal endpoints. After doing so, I can see my little text editor appears, and I also have the text editor contextual tab up top in my ribbon. Before typing in my text, I'm going to set its style. So I'll click the drop down here to see the different styles available. And in this case, I'm going to choose room labels. Next, I'm going to set the height. In this case, I want it to be six inches, and I can see that that is already set here in my drop down list. So I can begin typing. In this case, I'll go ahead and just put in a label for my living room. To get out of the text editor, you can just simply click outside of it. You can also click the Close Text Editor button up top. To edit text, you can simply double click on the text string. So here I'll double click on Living Room, and you can see I'm back in the text editor and can make any changes, and then I can click away from it. You can see there's a couple of problems with my garage label. The style's not right and the height is not right. We also have a misspelled word in there, so we're going to edit each of those problems right now. I'm going to start by changing the style of the text. I'm going to select my text here. Then I'm going to choose my annotation dropdown. And I can see it's currently in the Roman text style. So I will click the dropdown and switch it into the room labels style. Next, I want to adjust the height. I'm going to have to get into the text editor to do this. So I'll double click on the text. And then I will click and drag to highlight the text first then adjust its height to six inches using the drop down list up top. I also want to run a spell check. So I'm going to choose spell check up top here. And you can see that turning on spell check will now underline misspelled text. I'm going to right click on this text. And just like in other text editors, you'll get some suggestions for what we want to replace it with. In this case, I'll select garage here. And then click away from the text box. Let's take a look at some additional modifications to text. I have some text notes in this drawing that I want to modify. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer and double click on the text. The first thing I want to look at is the justification of text. In the paragraph panel, I have some alignment tools as well as a justification tool. The alignment tools are very similar to other text editors in that they apply themselves to just the current paragraph. So for example, I have my blinking cursor in the general notes line. So if I change the justification using one of these tools, it's only going to be applied to whatever is selected. If I want to apply it to multiple lines, then I will simply need to click and drag to highlight multiple lines before adjusting them. So if I click away from the text now, you can see I have right aligned text. I'm going to undo to get that back to where it was before and take a look at the justification. Once more, I'm inside the text, but I'm now going to choose the justification option. This is more of a unique AutoCAD tool. This will actually apply it to the entire text box. So instead of top left, I'm going to choose middle center. As you can see, it applies it to all of the text, not just the current paragraph. Once more, I'm going to undo. We can make general changes such as making things bold or italic or underlined using the tools here in the formatting section. I can also create numbered lists or bulleted lists by selecting several different paragraphs, then coming to the paragraph panel, selecting bullets and numbering and choosing numbered. Or again, I can choose bulleted or lettered in there as well. Finally, I'm going to resize the width of my text box. This can be done inside the text editor or outside of it. Since I'm already in the text editor, I'm going to choose the diamond here on the right side of the ruler and click and drag that in to adjust the width of the text box. As you can see, the text will simply just wrap to the following rows. It looks like there are a few words here that are underlined, so I'm going to come in and use spell check to fix those. So this one should be unless. These two are actually abbreviations, so I'm going to right click on those and choose ignore all. 
I could also choose to add it to the dictionary so that it no longer comes up in other drawings as well. You can also resize the width of the text box outside of the text editor. I'm going to click outside of the text editor and select the text. And you can see the upper right grip is this arrow that I can click and drag to resize. That concludes this lesson on some of the basic tools for creating and modifying text in AutoCAD.